Hey guys, welcome to the next part of Let's Play UGX Beginning of Destiny. Now, uh, before I say anything, one, well, no, I already went and got the sandwich off screen. It's just a ramen noodle sandwich, so let's go get it to Bastion, shall we? The reason I got it off screen was, well, I was trying to record earlier, but, uh, my camera died. So, yeah. Alright. Quick things I wanted to talk about. Uh, one, what every Let's Player on YouTube will, and pretty much anyone that ever puts game footage up on YouTube is really, really concerned about this build. I'm not sure if it has a name or not. I've heard it's called the Ten Strikes Bill, uh, but I think it's build S.978 or something. I, I really don't know. Uh, but this bill, I'll probably be the last person to probably ever tell you about this, unless you haven't heard much about it. But, uh, this bill will make... Oh, wait, we have our first test today. Yay. Go back to our side. This bill will make putting video game footage up on the internet completely illegal. Uh, and you could go to jail for up to five years. And the only way you could actually put it up without, uh, without going to jail is if you get... Uh, permission from the copyright holders of the game that you to put up video game footage. So companies like GameSpot, IGN, you know, maybe some YouTube uh, partners like uh, Nightwing01, you know, will stay, you know, because they will probably always have permission from the companies. But us Let's Players that don't have uh, permission from the video game companies, we will be gone. You know, you won't you won't have many of us. <laughs> I mean, you'll have some, but you you won't have a ton of us around. So we have to try to do it if we can to get this build to go away. Um, there will be a link in the description under the video to a link that will take you uh, to a website where you can send a letter to Congress saying this bill is unfair. It's unconstitutional and whatnot. All you gotta do is give your name, address, and zip code. If you don't live in the U.S., that's fine. They have a separate thing for you. If you don't live in the U.S., uh, just try it and help us out because, you know, whatever. A fun, fun, fun test today. There are two parts: written and practical. Let's start off first with the written exam. It's multiple choice. Select the correct answer. The written exam begins now. There'll also be a video. There'll also be a link in the de description uh, to a video of a guy that will further explain this law. He's he's the guy I've seen the best description of the law to. Uh, uh, whatever. Question one: What do you call test taking cards from your deck? Draw. Question two: What spell remains on the field after activation? Continuous spell. Contagious spell. The spill is contagious. I might catch it. Doing three times to get a winner is called a match. Mulligan. Mulligan's golf, ain't it? What is the highest level a monster card can have? I think it's ten, because isn't that the level of the Egyptian gods? Question five. Limited card. How many? All right, this one I have no idea about. Limited. I know it's not as many as you like. Uh, so we can eliminate four. I think it's two. Let's just go for two. The exam is over. Next is the practical exam. If you're ready, go to the dual field. The opponent is already waiting. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about. Uh, Project Rainfall, I think is what it's called. Uh, which concerns Xenoblade, the last story, and some other game I can't remember. Uh, but those games might not be coming to the U.S. due to Nintendo not wanting them to give the U.S. these games. Some some of them, like the last story, will be getting a European release, but which doesn't make any sense on why they can't send it over here if you're if they're going to give it to Europe. You know. So in the description, there'll also be a link to a video. Uh, let's see, you're new, aren't you? I'm Gillian. Looks like it's me and you in the exam, and there's no way of playing to fail. Here I go. 
But uh, in the video, you know, there'll be a description of a uh, there'll be a video of a guy, you know, explaining, you know, about this whole Project Rainfall, what you can do to help the, you know, get this the games over to a, to the Western world. You know, not all the games in Project Rainfall will be coming, you know, to Europe and such. Some might just stay in Japan, but there is a way for us to get it over here. And you know, in the description of both the video and the link to this petition, you guys can sign. Really, you don't even have to give much to the petition. Just your name and email. That's it. You don't have to give anything else. It, you know, we got a ton. You know, we got a ton of subscribers. I'll be trying to. Make, I'll be putting the, the link to the petition every single part and pretty much every video from now until you know others have stopped. Yeah, because we really need help with this. Getting games over here. Getting this bill gone. You know, there's. You know, we just need kind of some help with this. Alright, first, I'll set this. I've been playing a lot of Yu Gi Oh games, so maybe I'll be better. Save that in my hand. Level 5, or 1700 attack. God. Um. And summon. Hirosubi. I think is how you pronounce it. Then, go to my battle phase. Attack. Destroy his face down card. 2,000 defense? Uh, that, 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 that's not going to be good. I, I need to... Wait. I can. Min phase 2. Activate. Fisher. Destroys one monster on your side of the field with the, highest atta with the lowest attack. That may not be helpful when the opponent only has one monster on the field. And it's something like that. It's a very helpful card. Giant red sea snake. Maybe. What does this card do? For power points of damage to your opponent's life points for each monster on your opponent's side of the field. You know, maybe destroy some of my life points, but I'm destroying some of yours. Activate trap. Just desserts. You take 500 points of damage. I only take 300. I may still be lower than you, but I don't care. I need a card that can help me now. Come on. That doesn't help worth shit! Sorry, but it doesn't! Fine, I'll set a card face down defense mode. End my turn. I thought I'd be doing better. But I'm getting crappy cards. I need to buy more cards. No. A-hole. Now you have less life points than me. Uh, so what? I can still take out one of your monsters. Ooh, I got my own star boy. You know what? My entire deck is made of water monsters, dude. So I can pretty much own you. Watch. This. First. Mm -hmm. I summon Kappa Avenger. And use it. Deal face down card and negate attack. Crap. No. End my turn. What are you planning to do? Why are you saving your Star Boy? Oh wait, duh, because it powers up his entire deck. So I'm pretty sure his entire deck is made of water monsters too. 
Mother Grizzly? What does that do? Greater as a result of battle, you can special summon one water monster. Th oh, God. He has some pretty good cards in his deck. I, I gotta admit that. You know, I, I might fail this test because I'm doing so horrible. I really should get out of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm doing so bad. I should be enjoying le doing Let's Plays more, but you guys are probably enjoying watching this stuff more than I, more than I am probably playing this game. Then again, I suck at Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm trying to play a lot of games, and I was doing really good in all the games. Like, Ooh, Nightmare Steel Cage. Wait, when the hell did this get in my deck? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> oh. Activate Nightmare Steel Cage. Wait, can I still attack him? Face up on the field for two of your opponent's turns. No monsters can attack. Destroy this card during the opponent's turn. Oh, good, so it buys me some time. But it buys him time, too. I don't care. First, I set a card face down in defense mode. In my turn. Why is it changing the music? He can't win. I had Nightmare Steel Cage on the field. Huh. He's playing Yumi, huh? Yeah, but that's gonna help me, too. Thanks for powering on my monsters even more. Yami ship. That monster... Destroy the city as a result of battle. Destroy the monster. Destroy this card. Yeah, that's a very useful card. I don't know why I didn't have it in my deck, but that, whatever. Nightmare Steel Cage. It's only extra for one more turn. I remember the first time I saw this card, it was in my favorite episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, Nightmare Penguin. On its side of the field to the owner's hand, all water monsters. I would do that if you had a monster on his side of the field, you couldn't just re-summon it back. So you know what? I sacrifice my face down night lizard and summon a Kiron. Which is not even the strongest card in the field right now. Can I still attack? Dang it. Thanks a nightmare steel cage, I can't attack. But you know what? I don't care. This guy's gonna win, so I don't know why I'm doing all this. Because he has some pretty good cards on his side of the field. Kappa Avenger. See, I really don't have a problem with this game, it's just I wish it had like 3D monsters. I mean, even the PS1 Yu-Gi-Oh! games had 3D monsters. I don't care. Activate Stim Pack. On a key rod. I may have killed myself, but you know what? It's buying me time. And I set a monster face down in defense mode. Go to my battle phase. Attack. Destroy the monster near side of the field with the highest attack. Take that. See, I'm I'm getting a hold of my I'm getting back hold of my game now. I just need to get better at playing this. Okay, we're at the 14 minute mark. Don't like that he has a lot of very powerful cards. Activate Night Nightmare Penguin's special ability. Choose to send back the Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Divine Wrath. What does that do? 
Yeah, I want to check the card details because it's not showing. In your hand to get the activation of the Ah, oh, dang it. Nightmare Penguin's special ability was negated. Summon Bolt Penguin to the field. First, I use a key rod to destroy your Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. I'm trying to get my game back here. Then I use Bolt Penguin to destroy. Yeah, Yomi's ship's gonna be an annoying piece of crap. But I really don't want to destroy it. So let's get rid of Kappa Avenger. See, I'm trying to do better. Although this duel might have to be split up into two parts. But I don't really care. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to get back to doing Let's Plays again. As much as I could. Gate attack, good. Set a card face down defense mode. To my battle phase. First, I'll use a key run to destroy your face down defense position, monster. Move that slime. Then I'll attack. Your other grizzly. I know she, he's going to use its special effect. I know what it does. I just don't really care. He summons Fiend Kraken. Switch the Yami ship to the attack position. Activate by trap. Wait, no. I'm gonna save that actually. Hmm, let's see. We we got about. Well, we have the 18 minute mark. 18 and a half. Ooh, another bull penguin. Good. I summon another bull penguin. And I see a chance for me to do some serious damage on you. Oh, wait, no, no. no. Use a bull penguin to attack it. Hey, it's damage to his life points, okay? That's all I care about. I don't care about. I know Yami's ship's special ability, and I don't really care. I just want to do damage to him. I shouldn't set my arm on my table. No, it destroys Belt Penguin. I don't care. No. Kiron, you'll destroy his face down guard. Night Lizard. And then my other Belt Penguin will destroy his Fiend Kraken. So I'm getting my game back. Although this video will have to end soon. Probably by the time I can check another card detail. Summons Flying Penguin. Just in time, too. Actually, no, let's, let's keep going for a bit.
That's because I'll lose life points. Activate negate attack. And and I'll end the video here. This has been the next. This has been Ride Motor So D and your latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Beginning of Destiny Let's Play will be coming up soon. See you guys later. Bye.